what I want to do now is show you how you can create your own QR codes. Now there's a number of websites that will do this and if you uh, look in the accompanying manual you'll find out the URLs of the websites. They're all pretty simple to use and fairly self-explanatory. Um, what you need to do is make sure whichever one you use just read through their, their terms and their conditions simply because some of them will require you to create an account or pay if you want to use it for commercial reasons. For most of them however they, they are not too worried about it. So you can see here we've got a number of options here to create our, um, this is just one of the sites. Now we can create a web URL we can create a, an email, so emails people, phone number, some sort of text, so you can give them a message. There's a V card, so you can give them that information if you want to. Uh, text message, or through to a YouTube video. And you can see this one gives you some other options um, of sort of doing some stuff with social networks, uh, give them an image, um, or a map. So there's lots of options with what you can do here to um, show people where you are or whatever it might be. So we'll just do an example of a web URL. So if we go to, if we put our web URL as, there you are, and we create code, you can see here is our QR code. Simple, isn't it? So this is one of the easiest ones. You can save it as a, a GIF file or a PDF, and there's the um, some code linking to it if that's what you want to do. Now there's another one over here that's slightly different. Um, as I said, you have a look through all these and decide what you want to do. Um, this, this one gives you a few more options. So again, you can pick your um, code here and create a V card, SMS, send an email. You can even do one that will call them, connect them to a map. Etc. Etc. So you can see lots and lots of things there that you could do. But again, we'll do a website. We'll put our website in. Um, you can shorten the URL if you want using any of those. You can have error correction as well. Uh, how big do you want it in pixels? Again, okay, you pick a size. Remember, don't make it too big because some of them have trouble. Some mobile phones have trouble reading these if they're too large. Um, margin size again you can mess with that uh, what else have we got we got uh, what format do you want it in you can see you've got a few different formats there and then you can change the colors now obviously remember what we we talked about this um, is that the colors have to have a high contrast between them so it's no good you um, selecting colors where which are very similar because it's not going to work it has to be colors that are are um, have a high level of contrast simply because it's easier for them to um, more chance of it working okay um, and then you can see that's quite easy let's just select our color there and then we generate code it will go off and think about it and there's our QR code and we can right hand click save picture as and we can save it there so simple that's really not very difficult at all, is it? And that's all you need to do to create the QR code. Then you've got the image, and then you can take the image, and you can go and put it in whatever you want. So you can go and put it in your uh, advertising material. You can go and put it on your, um, I don't know, on, on your business cards, your till receipts. Whatever it might be that you want to put it on, you can do it with this. It's very, very easy to do. And that's it. That's it for creating QR codes. It is simple, as you've seen. It's not complex. And once you've created one, you can obviously then use it in your advertising material and, and quite obviously make some good money from it. So um, that's it on creating QR codes. We'll get on to the next video now and we'll talk about what you can actually do with them, how you can track them, and um, so on and so forth.